Yo, I just arrived here at Seattle. My flight leaves at 2.20. Right now it's midnight. Check in and then we're off to a 12 hour flight. Rough, but that's okay. Well, I'll catch you guys there. got to the gate. I was all worried about not making it to the flying time and I'm like a whole hour ahead. We're excited to hop onto the plane and make the trek over the Pacific Ocean. I got really lucky with the seating and they randomized me in the best fucking spot. Window seat where the wall is. Now I'm heading over to my layover trip. So I went on a little adventure to try to find some, like a water fountain, anything. And I've walked up and down this wing and that is nothing. I can't find anything, it's so tragic. I eventually gave up and I asked one of those like information desk people. They told me under every single boarding gate, there is a water dispensing machine. And let me, let me show you what it looks like. I've never seen that fucking machine before. So I've been kind of walking around for the last 20 minutes for no reason, <laughs> looking for water. But it was right there in front of me. That's so tragic. I just learned how to use an eSIM. It's an SKT eSIM and you just kind of like install it on your phone. You don't have to use a physical like card to be able to use their networks here. Hopefully I get to the train. Who knows? I finally got out of the subway. I'm in Songsu. Hopefully I got that right. I stepped out and it's fucking hot, man. It's like 95. I haven't felt this heat in such a long time. I've been spoiled up in Washington, but I'm like two blocks away from the Airbnb, so I wanna go over there and open it up and see what it's all about. Hello, we made it. I am shirtless right now. It was just way too hot, man. I was in the same clothes for like basically a full day traveling. So the moment I got in here, I had some privacy. I just stripped it off. It's so nice and cool in here. It feels so good, and I know a shower is gonna be a lot better, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Hello, hello. I got some food from the <laughs> convenience store. We're at E-Mart 24. The headquarters are right nearby, which is really funny. But today we're just taking a super chill. We took a little lovely nap to try to beat off jet lag. Right now we're headed to one of the nerdiest things ever. The PC Bang, let's go. So that's what Korea is all about. It's not about the culture. It's not about the people. It's about the quality of League of Legends matches. We're gonna go ahead and head over there. So we just got some of it. <laughs> Uh, peak PC man. First thing you gotta do is play some week <laughs> look, look at the ping. That ping is insane. Wow. Like you can just sit down and order drinks as you play. That's really sick. I wish we had these in America. That's a dub right there. Hello, once again, we are in the lookout for food. One or two games in League of Legends, you know. 2 and 0, undefeated. Anyways. We're here on Hongdae Street. There's a lot of neon signs. We're just kind of walking around until we find something that looks yummy. <laughs> Found our dinner. It's pretty good, to be honest. The big thing is that we, were, we had our food cooking and the meat was ready. We didn't have any utensils to eat the food. So we were just like sitting there waiting there for the staff, like waiting for instructions about where to find chopsticks. And we finally called over this girl. And she just like points out this drawer that was right underneath us that has all the, all the chopsticks and utensils that we needed. So that was a little embarrassing. I enjoyed the meat. It was like 20 bucks, so it's not too bad with the soji. So our next stop is uh, we're gonna go visit Villain Bar. We, we just don't know the hours, so we're just gonna stop by and see if they're open. Yo, yo, yo. Getting used to the metro. As long as you know what you're looking for, it's actually not that bad. We 
went to the villain bar and I had a feeling that it was going to be closed. So we walked by that's beer and they came in pretty clutch because they're still open. So we're just going to hang here and kind of end the night. I'm obsessed, but I think I just had the best fried rice I've ever had. A perfect amount of squishiness, saltiness of this place. Coming back for sure. Hey, hello. Today is Monday. Third day of the trip. Today we're gonna make some stone carving souvenirs and cook. I think that's what the neighborhood is called. Is we're gonna stop by an ATM. I have to withdraw some cash. I think it's like a million won. So you know, Korean millionaire. Uh, Aaron just got us some coffee. It's gonna go out and kind of roam around. Other than that, it's been all good. We decided to check out a local PC cafe. So it's only two dollars, so it's not too bad. And we're just gonna <laughs> relax and fuck up the game. I feel like I'm getting pretty familiar with the rail system. It's actually really convenient. Right now we're going over to the stone carving experience and the Anguk. So we're just gonna go ahead and check out that neighborhood. It's really cool just to be able to just explore the country. So it's been fun. Just got finished making a stone carving. It's actually really peaceful and super fun. Uh, the instructor was respectful, very good at her craft, and we got to make these some stamps. Now we're gonna go get some Korean barbecue with Aaron's friend. I don't wanna be crazy no more. Every time I think you're gonna walk. I'm found Aaron's friend, and I was able to withdraw cash. It's funny, I went to like these brick and mortar buildings with built in ATMs. And I went to one that was just outdoors. I looked in a sketch and it worked out. There was, was a cool palace. And we might go in to see. Subway and I got way too comfortable. I think I had my wallet on the side of my body and I ended up losing it once I left the metro. But it was really nice because of the people and the staff there. Very accommodating or telling me that someone will probably take it in. Just kind of crossing my fingers. We're here at the City Hall of Seoul. Kind of hoping that someone turns it in. If they do, I can pick it up here and we're good to go. <laughs> The really good news is that someone turned in a wallet that fits my description. Justin over here is helping me out, made the call, and has located it in, what is it called? Dam Dam Sam? Dam Sam. Dam Sam? Dam Sam. Dam Sam. Yeah. Dam Sam Station. So we're gonna go over there and see if it's mine. If it is, it's a huge relief. <laughs> Thank you, Justin, for helping me find this. We found this really cool riverfront, little like beach access. And we're just spending a little bit of time here. It's kind of cool being by the water. This is my first time being in Seoul by the water, which is great. I'm really happy that the whole wallet situation had the best outcome. There was nothing that was taken from it. All now, 10 out of 10, wallet losing experience. <laughs> All right, see ya. Apparently 
this is a really spicy soup, so we're getting ready to eat that. But what's really cool is that before stepping into the staging area, you have to check out some shoes. And I've been walking like all day, so it feels nice to be able to like move my feet and be unrestricted. So just getting prepared for this dinner. I've been very hungry, but it's been nice. right now it is Wednesday today we are going to go south side and it's also my friend's birthday 29th birthday shouts out Lena something really funny that happened last night we were going back to Songsu we took the wrong direction train so what would have been a seven stop journey turned into a 21 stop journey we ended up being in the in the train for like over an hour <laughs> which was quite funny we came to the realization that like we weren't getting any closer to Songsu, and then we looked out on the map and we found out that we were going the opposite direction and it was too late for us to hop off and switch directions because we were like eight stops in and that's a little update. Cool. See ya. Hello, hello. Back again at the BC Cafe. Uh, a lot of us kind of bonded through like video games and stuff so it's really cool to have this culture here. Gonna play some Rainbow Six Siege. It's a game that you used to play and I'm down to be a new batter. Really cool <laughs> space. Okay, so we are out here on the rooftop or the 12th floor. This is what they were talking about when they were mentioning the typhoon. So it was really weird. They were talking about extreme alerts of severe heat risk, and we've been getting that consistently for like three days. And then now, two days ago, they put out another emergency alert for a typhoon that's gonna hit. It's kind of cool, because like when I looked outside and I saw the overcast weather and the amount of rain, it really does feel like Seattle. I can really see the, the elements that are shared there because the people here are really cool. I guess I don't want to generalize it and by cool I think I mean to say they're very aware and very socially smart I guess. Americans can be very disrespectful or very outspoken but yeah I just I really enjoyed my time out here and I kind of want to document this moment. <laughs> this moment because it's such crazy 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 difference between uh, being out in the heat and then being here in the cold rain. So it's such a nice transition. And hopefully you can see the extent of the city. So there's a little bit of that going on. But I've only been out here like maybe five minutes pretty soaked right now. It's been nice because like, I've been inside all day, kind of sleeping in and just not wanting to be outside since it's so wet. But I'm really glad I made the decision to come out here in this rain. Kind of just take it in, mix it up a little bit instead of AC air all the time. Um, so yeah, I've been really having fun. It's Thursday and this I believe this is just halfway done this trip and the things that I've done in this trip has been so fun and got to meet a really cool people and uh, meet up with some old friends. So overall, pretty good. I am planning on getting a tattoo later, that's the big thing. Basically, most of my money is going and it will be good to get that done and see another piece of uh, international work on my body. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go <laughs> back to Airbnb, back home, relax for a bit, head out. So, deuces. <laughs> 